going to show you a survival curve for metastatic melanoma. From the time of diagnosis, median survival is about 12 months, making melanoma one of the deadliest malignancies. Now look at melanoma-associated mortality rates over time. We haven't seen an improvement in outcomes in 40 years. Compare that to breast cancer, which has seen some dramatic therapeutic advances over the past few decades. But melanoma is riding a wave of novel immunotherapies that hold promise to change the treatment landscape dramatically. Appearing in the Journal of the American Medical Association is a type of study we don't see too much of these days. It's not really a clinical trial. It's not really a meta-analysis. Frankly, I'm not sure what to call it. An aggregate analysis, perhaps? The study examined 655 patients treated with the PD-1 inhibitor pembrolizumab. Yes, that's the drug that Jimmy Carter received and seems to be doing so well with. A brief aside here, pembrolizumab is a monoclonal antibody directed towards programmed cell death protein 1, PD-1. PD-1 acts to prevent immune cells from attacking your own cells. It's an immune checkpoint, making pembrolizumab one in a class of checkpoint inhibitors. Basically, by blocking PD-1, pembrolizumab allows your immune system to attack your own cells. Not something you want under ordinary circumstances, but perhaps beneficial when your own cells have turned against you. Merck has bet big on pembrolizumab, with clinical trials ongoing or planned in melanoma, non-small cell lung cancer, small cell lung cancer, ovarian cancer, glioma, colorectal cancer, and on and on. What happens when a company is doing so many trials like this is a kind of fractionation, where you lose the aggregate knowledge of patient experiences because they are spread out across so many trials. So I was gratified to see this aggregate analysis, which examined patients with advanced melanoma receiving pembrolizumab across four different trials. See, if you do four trials and one is nice and positive and the others are equivocal and you're a for-profit drug company, maybe you're more likely to try to get that positive trial into some high-profile journal and let the others either languish in peer review or get published in an out-of-the-way rag. What we get in JAMA, though, is a study with adequate power to demonstrate that pembrolizumab might make a difference. Among all the patients treated with pembrolizumab, and yes, there's no control group reported here, the objective response rate was 33%. The median overall survival was 23 months and 31 months among those for whom pembrolizumab was the first systemic cancer therapy. Compared to the historical median survival of under a year, this represents a substantial improvement. Now, before we bestow too many accolades on Merck for giving us this aggregate data, we might ask whether they would have been as forthcoming if the trials weren't quite as successful. But placing cynicism aside for the moment, it seems that this drug or one of its competitors will have a place at the table in the treatment of advanced melanoma. For MedPage Today, I'm Perry Wilson.